Greetings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. My dear brothers and sisters, I have yet an amazing and powerful word just for you. A quick reminder is that every day I am always here to help you. I am always here to pray for you, to encourage you in the Lord. That no matter what you are going through, no matter the matter, you will overcome. In fact, many of you have already overcome. In Christ Jesus, you have overcome the enemy. Whatever has been bothering you, my brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you that if you remain in God, you are going to be a victor. You are going to have that victory that you desired. Brothers and sisters, remember that I, I pray for you on a day on a weekly basis and also on a daily basis. For those that send me messages, you can send me a message, uh, a prayer request through my email address or through my WhatsApp number. And I will respond to you. I will pray for you. Bible says it clear, the fervent and effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That is right. Brothers and sisters, have someone pray for you because prayer is important. And I also have live streams where I pray for you, I encourage you, I read your comments, and those live streams are on a weekly basis. So it is important that you get connected to this channel by subscribing and turning on all the notifications so that you never ever miss out on these amazing and future videos. Dear brothers and sisters, I have a word for you. I have a word to bless you. And uh, today's word is a very special word. It is a word that requires you to be attentive to every spoken word that I say. Brothers and sisters, be wise. Be wise. Be very careful. Because Jesus is coming back very soon. Bible tells us to be wise as serpents. Be wise as serpents. And harmless as doves. Be a wise as some serpents and harmless as doves. I want to read to you a scripture that is from the book of Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 to 13. Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 to 13 the bible says it clear <clears throat> the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom now five of them were wise and five were foolish those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. For our lambs are going out. But the wise answered saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding. And the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. The Bible says, watch therefore. This requires you to be watchful at all times. While you're watching, you're praying. This is a story of the ten virgins. Bible says five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. The foolish ones carried the lambs with them, but they had little or no oil. They took no oil with them, actually. But the wise ones 
had the lamps, their vessels with the lamps, with the oil. That's what distinguished them. The oil is what distinguished them. Remember the Bible says it clear. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So the word of God is referred to as the lamp. So they had the word of God. Just as many hear the word of God, you hear street preachers preach about the word of God. Evangelist pastors, apostles are preaching the word of God on a daily basis. But they reject the word. They have the word. They hear that, listen to the word. Some of them actually read the Bible, but do not believe in the power. They have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. The foolish virgins had a form of godliness, but they denied the power. They had not received the spirit. Mm. Some of the apostles came and asked, What did you what what what, what did you re did you receive the Holy Spirit when you be, when you were baptized? When you believed, did you receive the Holy Spirit? That's what the question was asked. And they had never heard of John's they had never heard of the other baptism. They had been uh, familiar with John's baptism. So they were baptized and they received the Spirit of God. It is important. To walk in the spirit. Mm, it is important. Not in the flesh. Not by your feelings. The Bible says it clear. But while the bridegroom was delayed. They all slumbered and slept. They all slumbered and slept. There is something that delayed the bridegroom. The bridegroom did not delay. Because he wanted to delay. The Bible says he was delayed. And they slumbered and slept. Jesus referred to sleep. I mean, Jesus referred to death as sleep. When, when you read the scripture and some people have died, Jesus said that they are, they are just sleeping. And he spoke a word and they were able to come up from the dead. So what? These this bridegrooms actually probably they died. Or probably it might have been rupture. They slept, slumbered and slept. And the Bible says at midnight, a cry was heard. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. It was at midnight. So the foolish virgins... They were asking for the wise virgins for their oil. But the wise virgins said, we have little. It's not enough for us. Go and buy to those who sell. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you, be ready for the return of the king of kings. Be ready. Be ready. Don't depend on someone's faith. Don't depend on your pastor. Depend on God. Your help is in God. The Bible says that he is our present help in terms of need. When you read the scripture, you do realize that the foolish virgins were left behind. They were left behind. They did not make it. Brothers and sisters, it is important that you watch and pray at all times. I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Until next time, shalom.